Studies and I am from Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Sungai Bayu. Today, I'm going to be explaining the topic Waste Management. Now, before we get into our main topic, how about I share you all a simple story about how waste management can affect our lives. It is a normal school day and students were carrying on with their usual routines. The students in the school tend to litter around the school and not caring about their surroundings, especially in the school's canteen. They didn't know how much their actions can affect themselves and others. Until one day, the school's canteen was infested with rats and roaches. Apparently, the food waste in the trash bin was getting out of control and it started to attract invasive species. The canteen became so dirty that students doesn't feel comfortable eating there. The principal decides to take action about the situation and have a discussion with the teachers. After a successful meeting, they decided to have a pack talk about waste management for the students. The students now see how important it is to manage the waste and discipline themselves. The students start to throw away their waste in inappropriate bins and not littering around the school. In the end, the school reputation was raised again and it was known as one of the cleanest schools. Now that you all heard the story, let's get on to the main point of the part, shall we? Waste management or waste disposal includes the processes and actions required to manage waste from its inception to its final disposal. As you all know, waste can be solid, liquid, and gases, and each type has different methods of disposal and management. Waste management deals with all types of waste, including industrial, biological, household, household municipal, organic, biomedical, and radioactive wastes. In some cases, waste can pose a threat to human health. Health issues are associated with the entire process of waste management. Health issues can also arise indirectly or directly, directly through the handling of solid waste and indirectly through the consumption of water, soil, and food. You might be wondering, how is waste produced? Well, waste is produced by human activity. For example, the extraction and processing of raw materials or expired food. Waste management is intended to reduce the adverse effects of waste on human health, the environment, management resources, and the aim of waste management is to reduce the dangerous effects of such waste on the environment and human health. A big part of waste management deals with municipal solid waste, which is created by the industrial, commercial, and household activities. That is all about waste management.